Hello, Yarn and Beast. How are you today? Ah, I feel like I'm not doing enough videos. Um, I, I'm tired. I'm tired all the time, especially today. Uh, I had a bit of allergic reaction last night. I don't know what the heck was happening, but um, I feel like you're up really high. Um... I, at about midnight, I started itching. My back was really itchy. And then my legs, my arms, everything started to itch. And I was going, what is happening? So I took a Benadryl at midnight. And I had to be up at 7. So I'm a little groggy right now. I'm a little out of it. Um, so, yeah, I don't know what's going on. I know that, like, I'm allergic to pollen. And I can tell, like, things are happening up here because every time I go to work, um, it's like a snowstorm. Uh, the pollen is just crazy right now. So yeah, I know that's affecting me, but it doesn't usually make me itchy like that. So I don't know what happened last night, but yeah. Um, I don't have a lot to talk to you about today. Uh, I came across a channel um, she was talking about craft fair, like she was doing, um, the spring, her spring craft fair. And I forget the name of the channel. I'll put it here. Um, but she was making a couple of amigurumis that I was just like, oh my goodness, I need that pattern. Listen to me. <laughs> I, I'm not the amigurumi person really. Well, you, you wouldn't tell about this, but anyway. Uh, so I figured, you know what? I'm Canadian. I need to have this pattern. So this, these pattern, I bought, th ended up buying three of this, this person's patterns because they're so freaking adorable. Um, so this, these patterns are by Mums Stitchet, Mums Stitch Getty, Stitch, Stitchet, Stitchetty. Oh. <laughs> Mums Stitchetty. Um, she's got some really cute patterns. Uh, they're a little pricey, but you know what? When I actually opened up the pattern or printed the pattern and looked at it, it's very detailed. So I'm not unhappy about the price. So anyway, so this is, it's all in black and white. So this is the pattern that I got. Isn't it cute? Mac the Moose. Oh. So adorable. Uh, it looks even better in color. But when I printed it, it printed in landscape this way, not this way. And I was like, oh no. But when I looked at it, it's a lot better. It's a lot better this way. Um, because it gives more room to show uh, how, how it's supposed to go together you know, stuff like that. Um, so I, I'm definitely going to make this one. Then I, I saw this one. It's so cute. Cora the koala. Isn't that just, oh, I just had to get it. So <clears throat> I got that one. The one I'm working on right now that caught my eye, um, is this one Ellie the elephant isn't that cute now you can't tell but it's done in pink and burgundy and it's so freaking adorable this these are all done with Bernat blanket which I don't have any of so I just decided to grab a couple of you know four weights or whatever and, and start I would imagine that these would come out a little bit bigger if it was with Bernat, but I don't know. I don't know, looking at it. Uh, so I started Ellie the Elephant. <laughs> Oops, I'm pulling out my stitches. So this is how far I've gotten, uh, or how how far I've gotten so, so far. <laughs> so far, how far I've gotten, whatever. Um... <clears throat> It's, the arms are a little off. I think, oh, my stitch count was a little off by the time I got to the neck. 
it's all done in one well the arms are separate she makes you make the arms first and then the body and the body's all one piece i'm at the point now where i can put on the eyes but i left my eyes at work i've got i'm i get to try i bought these um eyelashes from aliexpress and it's it's a disc with eyelashes on it and you put it on the back of your uh your safety eye so i'm excited to try those today so i'm gonna take it to work i'm gonna try and finish it at work i have to do the snout and the ears and it should be hopefully done um yeah so i'll show you what it looks like when it's finished i decided that i was going to use I, I have this fluffy day that i got uh when did i get it around christmas time um it's the premium brushed acrylic fluffy day from hobie i'm using a few like a I, i'm using this with a what am I using? Oh, you can't see it. It's up over here somewhere. Uh, I'm just using a burgundy acrylic. Nothing special. But I'm mixing the two together. And then I'm using this fluffy day. Oh, that color is... What color is that? Color number 16. They don't have names on there. On Hobie doesn't have names on their yarn. Ah, everything's falling. Um, then I'm using this color with. What am I using it with? Um, what the heck am I using it with? I've lost it. It's in this bag somewhere. Oh, I rolled it up. Right. It came out of the packaging and went all crazy. What the heck did I... Oh, um... I'm using the heathered, heathered yarn. Hang on. Oh, okay. I'll use that one then. Oh. The Hirsch, Hirschner's Worsted 8 Tethered. I've got a bunch of this, so I was using that one and mixing the two together for the base color. Um, so I'll let you, I'll show it to you guys when I'm done. It's going to be so cute. It's not going to be as cute as hers, but because um, I think it might look better with blanket yarn. But I don't have any, so uh, gotta use with gotta use what you got, right? Ugh. So, um, Crystal from Chronically Crocheting did a video uh, that I watched yesterday, all about Ali AliExpress and safety eyes. Um, if you do amigurumi. I would suggest that you go and take a look at that video because she ordered a whole bunch uh, of eyes from there. And she compares um, Amazon eyes to AliExpress eyes. And I think it's a great video. Uh, I've been getting my safety eyes from AliExpress for quite some time. I have gotten some off of Amazon and I wasn't happy with them either. Uh, but... The sunken in eyes, there's a tool that you can get that I didn't even know. I didn't know about it. So you can get that on L on Amazon and it's a push tool uh, that you put on it and you, you can push them down because those, those eyes that have the sunken in caps, they are a bit of a pain in the butt to, to get on. But once you get them on, they look amazing. So uh yeah so i've got i'm gonna put her link down below what else <clears throat> um <laughs> shop is doing better 
it's more people are starting to come in. Um, I'm, I'm posting like crazy on Facebook. So I think that's helping because a lot of people are coming in and saying, Hey, I saw your post. And I was like, thank goodness. Um, I'm not going to talk a whole lot about the shop because, um, my subscriber rate has dropped dramatically. So I, I, I know a, a lot of you had said, um, that you love seeing what I bring in and that you like to hear about the shop. Um, but apparently I guess a lot of you don't, which is sad, which is sad. So I'm going to try and keep this as crochet related as I can. Um, I don't know how many videos I'm going to be able to get out. I'm really going to try guys, but I'm starting to feel like it's really tough to, um, to do both. Right. I didn't realize when I wasn't working, how much easier it was to get content out. And I, I could have had a, a video out every day, but I didn't have enough to talk about. Right. So, <clears throat> excuse me. I'm not doing as many yarn hauls as I used to. Um, I'm not doing as many giveaways as I used to. There's a lot of things on my channel that I'm not doing anymore because of funds. I, cause ever since I got married, um, I'm not on my disability anymore. So I just don't have the funds to be able to do what I did before. And I'm, I'm really seeing it in my subscriber rate. So, yeah. So I don't know. We'll see how it goes. I, I really, I've worked really hard on my channel and I would hate to see me lose it, you know? So, <clears throat> so I'm going to really try hard to push through and to get content out there for you guys. Um, yeah. So anyway, so I just wanted to give you a quick video just to show you what I'm working on right now. Uh, I, I do want to go and get some blanket yarn, especially for the koala bear and everything. And I want to see what the size difference would be, because if you look at the weight when she's holding it, it's not that big, really. I mean, oops, it's kind of, might be a little bit smaller, but I don't think it's too bad. So yeah. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Um, I'm almost finished the sweater thing that I was working on. <sighs> I've just got too many projects that I'm working on. I, I'm not, a st I don't usually have starditis, but now I do. And I'm going, oh, I got to get some of this stuff done. <sighs> that snake, it sits beside me when I'm sitting on the couch. I should be picking it up. But by the time I get home, I'm so tired that I just don't want to crochet, which is really sad. Yesterday was my day off and I didn't want to crochet. I had to really push myself to, to start this. Um, so that's kind of weird because that's not usually me. I'm usually crocheting constantly. So, so I'm going to take my crochet to work today. And uh, I've always got crochet at work, but it's all like amigurumi stuff. Like I've got my my four millimeters at um, work, and but yeah, it's it's weird. It's a total change for me, and I'm not sure if I like it. I'm not sure if I like it, but we'll see how it goes. Okay, guys, I'm going to go, and I guess I will talk to you guys later. Okay, love you. Bye.